So it's currently March. It's officially spring. I have the objective to keep my hair in protective styles for all of winter just so that when it comes to this time I'd be able to rock my natural hair because you know protective styles grow your hair, right? So today I decided that I was going to rock a cute low bun. But oh no 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 <laughs> Crochet is. Y'all asked me to do a remake of an old video that I did like three, four, five years ago. <laughs> I made that video when we were at about 300 subscribers. I remember that. And that was the first video that ever got a lot of views and it was trash. It was complete trash. It was garbage. Basically y'all couldn't see anything in that video and I remember I almost didn't want to post it because you couldn't see anything. I didn't have proper lighting. So one of you lovelies, y'all were so sweet. But in translation, she was basically saying as you have fixed your lighting problem, redo the darn video. So I basically went into my hair storage and I found something. Expression hair. I'm gonna stop talking to the camera and I'll do a voiceover from this point on. So make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram. Oh, and by the way, stay tuned to see how you can win a free wig. 80K subscribers, baby. <laughs> Lego. So to start off, we're gonna cut the expression hair into four different sections because we need the hair to be short and expression hair is really long. And you're gonna go ahead and pull the end so that you could get kind of like a uneven effect because the hair is gonna be too short if you leave it blunt. As you can see, I did not do it properly, but make sure you brush it out with a paddle brush. It's so easy to brush. And this is the leave out. These are the corners that I put here just to keep my leave out separate from where that, I, from what am I saying? <laughs> from where I'm going to crochet. So as you can see here, my hair is completely like, it's still wet. I didn't blow dry it. Usually you guys see my hair blow dried, but I'm actually just tired of putting so much heat all over my hair. So I decided to leave it wet. I just finished washing it and deep conditioning it. So yes, I was slightly exaggerating in the beginning. My hair has grown quite a bit since I did my protective styles. It's just that when it's wet, I got 4C hair. The shrinkage is so real. So I went ahead and I did two ponytails. Make sure, please guys, I beg all, please do not do a straight part in the middle of your two ponytails because it's going to be a pain, almost impossible to hide that part using the braidless crochet method. So try and make it like sloppy so that you cannot see Make it as flat as possible, but just don't make a part. You don't want a part. You can see a slight part at the bottom of mine, but try not to make a part and you know, it's gonna look ratchet, but hey, we gonna hide all this. So I decided to plait the ends. You could twist the ends. You could do whatever you want to the ends. Just make sure that you could pin and tuck it somewhere so that it could remain flat. And I never really stress this in my videos, but please, if you can cornrow, do a cornrow base. I always believe that cornrow bases for crochets are so much better because they're just so much neater it's flat you don't have to worry about like i don't know it's just neater i would say it's just easier to deal with but of course i never really do corners on my uh on my channel because i realize that most of you guys watch my channel because you can't cornrow so i'm really trying to appeal to you guys but for those of you who know how to corner go ahead and corner like you don't need to do this braidless mess uh wow braidless method it's really better i think as a protective style to do corners but if you can't corner i got you this is also a protective style so i hear i'm just letting you know i'm on my third section and i only used three sections so i didn't even use the full pack of expression here because expression here again comes with a lot of hair so i just jumped to the front and i'm doing as you can see y'all please Pull the hair, stretch the hair properly. If you could get pre-stretched hair, buy pre-stretched hair. It's easier, it's quicker. It's just that if you don't pre-stretch it properly like how I did not, because I don't know about y'all, when I pre-stretch hair, it kind of crawls my skin. And like, I don't like the feeling of it. I just hate stretching hair. I don't know why. But if you don't stretch it properly, you're gonna end up in a problem where your hair is not gonna be even and it's gonna be really hard to cut and shape it. So do not follow my uh, my lead with that one, okay? But yeah, I use the invisible knot method, by the way, to crochet the top. And to just calm down the hair because it was looking crazy, I went ahead and I blow dried it 
using those tools you saw right there and that's the length we're dealing with right now um wow i just realized i'm missing a whole clip of me cutting the hair that just hit me well i'm so sorry about that anyway um i basically blow dried out the front because like i said my hair was wet i had just washed and conditioned it so i'm blow drying it now and i put in a heat protectant i don't know where that clip is either <laughs> i put in my heat protectant and then i went ahead and i used my absolute favorite flat iron oh my goodness this flat iron gets your hair silky straight like look at that my hair is so straight it's crazy i forgot that i was flat ironing it and i put so much product in my hair i put leave-in conditioner i put oil don't do that you should put the oil after you flat iron your hair because you ain't trying to fry your hair so i'm just praying to god that my hair reverts after this which it will in jesus name <laughs> but um yeah that's why it kind of looks so greasy and that's why you're seeing so much steam because i put so much product in my hair forgetting that i had to flat iron it but i just did one pass through my hair because there's no need to keep on repeating it and i did the same thing for the top now back to the thing i just realized guys i don't know why i don't have my clip of me cutting this hair but i maybe it's for the better because i cut it terribly i always tell you guys i suck at cutting hair i just take a random kitchen scissors and i just cut and i did my blunt cut bob uh, i'm not talking about my natural hair guys i'm talking about the crochet hair and um yeah so you go ahead and cut it however you want to see it if you guys have pre-stretched hair or if you stretch the hair properly you do not have to cut it you could leave it pre-stretched and leave it looking like you know those weaves those nice weaves or whatever but i love blunt cut looks even though i can't cut hair i just really like blunt cuts so that's what i did and i'm really sorry again that i have no idea where i placed that <music> So this hairstyle, I would say, could last up to two weeks, less or more, depending how well you take care of it. And as a night routine, I would braid up my natural hair because I don't want to leave it. I didn't do that last night, but I don't want to leave it out. So I'd make sure to do some braids or flat twists or something just to keep it kind of, you know, lock in the moisture, tie it down with this headscarf that I did get from Princess of Beauty Supply, y'all already know. And oh yeah, one of you guys actually messaged me on Instagram and you said you wanted me to try this edge control. So here I am trying it right now. So yes, if you guys have any products or any hairstyles you want to try, make sure you hit me up on Instagram. I answer every single one of you guys. I don't bite. So just feel free to message me there even if because I may not see it here on YouTube. So just send me a DM on Instagram. But here I am using this Eben 24 hour edge tamer on my edges and girl, it worked amazingly, but will I swear by it? Not yet, because as you can see, my hair is flat ironed. And if you know me, you know my edges do not cooperate nicely, but they're cooperating nicely very now, very now, wow. They're cooperating nicely now. And um, I really liked it, it kept my hair down. So this is how it works on flat iron here, but that's the most I can give you guys so far. But look at my edges though, they is laid. So that is it. That is all for the style, guys. It's super easy as always. And I made sure, listen, I always show the back of my hair cells, even though you guys say I don't. I'm showing the back right now, okay? So make sure y'all look at my videos. I always show the back. Anyway. I just wanted to come really quick and talk about these cute little glasses you see your girl wearing. No, they're not prescription. I got LASIK surgery. I'm never going back. But these are great for my eyes because they're actually protecting my eyes from the Blu-rays that come from any screen. So from the computer screen or from my phone screen. And listen, I am always on the computer, always on my phone editing or whatever. It's for hours every day and it's really not good for my eyes and it, I was really concerned about it. So I was super excited when this company, T-I-J-N um, company reached out to me and asked me if I could try out one of their glasses and they sent me this frame and oh my gosh, I love it, it's so cute. And it actually has a yellow tint. You could probably see that yellow and that's to help with you know, protecting your eyes. So go check out their website and I'll leave their link in the description box below. And now y'all asked for it, so I brought it. We hit 80K subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. So of course I'm doing a giveaway. I'll be giving away this amazingly luscious and beautiful lace front wig. It is 100% human hair. So make sure you check out all the details on how you can enter this giveaway in the description box below. And that is it, guys. Make sure you guys leave your comments down below. I will answer every single one of you. I love y'all so much. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Peace.